Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a TVP from Keravice between Trap and Hero Marine on Hardwire. Bottom left, we've got Hero Marine, and the top right, we have Trap. Trap was the runner up at Katowice from 2021, which means he took second place in the entire world. He's an incredible Protoss player. And Hero Marine is trying to break into the ranks of Clem, Rainer, and Serral to be taken seriously from the European region. So, he's got his work cut out for him today, but he needs to beat players like Trap if he wants to ascend to that level. So I think Hero Marine will pull out all the stops. And checking for proxies here is Trap. Woof. Europe is putting up a pretty darn hard fight against Korea recently. I think that's a result of the region lock. I was not a fan of it when it was announced, but hey, can't argue with the results. All right, so the probe here gonna harass the SCV, forcing another SCV off the line. And one gate expand here from Trap. Just checking to make sure there are no proxies inside his natural base. And there are not. So, gonna go ahead and throw it down. Oh, hang on a second. Cybernetic score. Cybernetic score first here. Hmm. I guess maybe he kind of feels like this could be a Reaper. So you need to get an Adept or a Stalker out to deal with that. And if you go Gate Expand and don't have an Adept or a Reaper, or Adept or a Stalker, when the Reaper shows up, you are in a super, super bad place. So just better safe than sorry, says Trap. And then throwing down the Nexus. Second base coming up inside the natural here for Hero Marine, or inside the main, rather. For Hero Marine, second guess, factory on the way, and overall, I think things are fine. Here in this TVP, so this is the Patreon cast of the week. For March the 10th, if you're watching this, the week of March the 10th, 2022, thanks for supporting me on patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least $1 a month. I do appreciate the support there. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm here five times a week with StarCraft II content. You can also join the channel by clicking the join button down below. If you don't feel like supporting me on Patreon, I can understand why you'd have some reservations about that with some recent events over the last year or so. If you'd rather to support me on YouTube because you're here anyway, click the join button down below. If you are, however, on an Xbox or on a PlayStation or on an iPhone, there is no join button. We had this discussion on a live stream that I did a couple weeks ago. Twilight Council opening from Trap, by the way. So what you want to do, if you do want to join the channel and support me that way, is you just go to your web browser, just like on a laptop or a desktop. Or I guess you could do it on your, your iPhone, right? Just go to YouTube.com, sign in there. You should have a join button in that situation. Hmm. Or get an Android phone. Go to YouTube on that one. The options are endless. What a mind drop coming here from Hero Marine. Blink opening here from Trap. Nothing too crazy from either of these players. Stalker checking around trying to see, you know, is anybody coming to kill me? There are a couple Hellions out, probably trying to find Adepts. Maybe come in for some kind of an attack, but Stalker in the wall. Let the Stalker be in the wall. Where are you going, Stalker? Are you worried about incoming? I guess this Stalker's in the wall. This Stalker is in watching out for Widowmine Drop duty because, yeah, you definitely should check that. Yeah, I mean, the... The factory there, I mean, factory reactor is a good indication. Hellion's scouting around a bit, and here it is. It's only a two Widowmine Medivac drop, and then went right into marine production. Siege tank's on the way, too. So it's going to be some not super concerted harassment here with Widowmines. Just a couple. Trying to get some kills out. Trap is as well-versed and as skilled in dealing with this as anybody in the world. So we're probably going to see, I don't know, I'm going to guess maybe, honestly, two probe deaths is probably your over-under. Is it two? Is it more? Is it less? I feel like two is probably a fair place to put it. So play along at home. The gig is more or less than two. Widowmine burrows in. Catches two probes. Hey! Hey, three probes! It's over! Woo! <laughs> Hero Marine gets three probe kills. Instead of the two that are pretty much guaranteed for him to get. Because a Protoss would rather take a Widowmine hit to a Probe than to a Stalker or an Adept. So, in the case where they don't have any detection, which they don't yet, they're working on it, but that timing comes too early for that. 
they let a probe eat it, and if there's two Widow Mines, that means two probes, and if there happen to be, unluckily, two probes in the same location, a little bit sloppy there from Trap, actually, you can lose more. So Stalker's gonna push the front, but there's a tank back here. Ooh, there's a Raven, too. Raven here from La Hero Machine. Interesting. Yeah, Big Gabe here doing it. I like the Raven. Interference Matrix, good. I mean, you maybe toss it down on a Stalker. Maybe anti-armor missile on the Stalkers when they're fighting against the Marines. The tanks would be amazing. You're going to try to... Yes, this is a blink up into the main. Although, tank positioning is great. Big Gabe's ready for this. Oh, we're going anyway. Trap says, screw your tank positioning. I'm getting right on in. I'm going to kill a couple SCVs because you killed three of my workers. So, three seems like a fair play. Marauder takes bonus damage from the Stalker, which is always dicey. Tank gets focused down, and then the blink out. One Stalker down in exchange for what? A Marauder, a Marine, a Siege Tank, and two SCVs? That was a good push. Really very worth it. Play there. Oh, we're back with more Widow Mines. Are you kidding me? Ah, and two more go down. Is that just the one? Huh. Oh, did he save? Oh, he saved his first Widow Mine and then dropped it down here later. Okay. All right, so the Widow Mine Harass ends up actually getting five probe kills. It was way over. I did not anticipate him dropping those back in. Storm on the way, charge on the way. All these are beautiful ingredients for taking down a Terran player who is this good at the game of Terran as Hero Marine is. So Hero Marine is up 49 to 24 army supply, which is pretty intense. Trap trying to buy some time here. Kiting back and back and back and back. He really would like to have Storm when this army shows up. And at least he's going to have Charge, which is nice. A couple more. Oh, an auto turret harass. He's like, okay, well. A little auto turret harass action. Seems like it would be good. Sell it here to pre prevent that from happening. Need the meta back is what he needs. He's make he's got a couple of them with a couple more on the way. So he's gonna drop into the main and then maybe try to push in the third while uh, while auto turret harass is doing its thing too. Hero Marine coming from all directions. Shield battery gets focused down. Beautifully done. He wants to get a widow mine shot out on these. No, no, he doesn't. Widow mine shot. Oh, several probes go down there too. Medivacs do get chased away, and then he charges into the third. But, I mean, hey, you're out of position, so what? Just instantly warp in some units, and you'll be fine. Protoss has that nice advantage. Of course, look, it's not good enough for them to, like, win every Premier Tournament, because obviously they don't. But, I mean, just a lot of things that are really, really handy. Nice little cost of, uh, quality of life improvements that they have access to. Widow mind trying to get in that. Mm, burrows in. No, it does not burrow in. Nicely done. Doesn't have drilling claws. So the burrowing time is not fast enough to stay alive in that situation. All right. So far, so good. Here, Marine went for a pretty strong two-base, multi-pronged, like, three-pronged attack. Auto turret. Still doing work here. This Raven's got ten total kills. Okay, 16 probes have died. I think some of that has been auto turret. That's been just getting work done while Trap is defending against more traditional style attacks. Hero Marine putting some work in. Got a third base landing now. Ghost Academy coming in. He needs those against the Protoss for sure with that EMP. EMP just makes your battles a billion times easier. And I think every Terran player would agree getting things easier is better than having things harder. I think everybody would agree with that. It's not just a Terran thing. Captain Obvious here today. <laughs> Ghost Academy finishing up. Immediately going to go for Enhanced Shockwave if I had to guess what we're doing with this thing. Production tab says, immediately nothing. This just exists. We're not making ghosts. We're not getting upgrades. We're not getting a nuke out. We're just having a Ghost Academy while we push out. Raven, 10 kills. Enough energy for another anything. Yep, one more auto turret goes down. And is doing, I mean, focusing probes. Another probe dies. But the Raven is kind of stuck at this point. So I think here Marine's got his Widow Mines. That's the splash damage to do with Zealots right now. Picks, is he going to boost right into the main? He's like, oh, your army's outside? Heck yeah, let's do it. I know there's some stalkers here. Don't care. Unloading everybody here. Doom dropping his way to an attempted victory right now. He's gonna, the Widow Mines, he's unburrowing, reburrowing. The Widow Mines firing on something he doesn't want them to fire on is actually worse than them not firing at all. 
So he just leaves the Widow of Mines behind. They get a couple kills, a couple probes go down, sure. On the other side, a little bit of Zealot run by. Wow, five SCVs died to this. Well, more Zealots warping in in the main. That's what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody hates this. Everybody hates Zealots warping in your main. Protoss, Terran, and Zerg alike. PvPs are rife with this. So even Protoss players are like, I'm doing this. I know it sucks, and I know how it feels. We must do it to the enemy because it is a strong, strong move. So nine SCVs go down there. Enhanced, or rather, Colossus coming on in with extended thermal lance. 19 probes have died. Wow. And 11 SCVs have died, and the income tab is hugely favoring trap at the moment. Because, again, a lot of SCVs are coming off the line, or were coming off the line in the last minute or so to try to help out. Another base on the way from trap. That is a fourth, but it is three base to three base, and mules are pretty good for a hero marine. It's got an even worker count, but obviously the mules are going to help tip the scales there from time to time. As uh, that's their one of their quality of life things that they get to enjoy are mules. It's like, all right, well, no, literally nobody's in the main. Oh, look at Trap. He's like, oh, there's nobody in the main. Why don't you go in there? He stays outside the scan range. Oh, and then he heads over left because this army is actually pretty formidable to deal with. Uh, I would, I hear a Marine. I don't know. This army split is pretty good here from Trap. He's got Colossus inside the main base to deal with that stuff. Does he have any High Templar? Charge lots mostly in this location. Are we back with more Zealots in the main? Yes. Enhanced Shockwave is coming in. Boost? Okay, yeah. Going in there and getting feedback would be terrible for these medevacs. So they decide to retreat. Concussive Shell is on the way. This is a really good PVT. Hero Marine's holding his own. A lot of PVTs don't go past 10 minutes. So I'm just saying, the fact that he's held his own for 11, almost 12 minutes here against Trap is really, really telling for how good of a player Hero Marine is right now. And honestly, if you're trying to get better, constantly playing against Raynor and Serral in Showtime in the European ladder is going to make you better. Showtime is super, super scary from his position in the EU as well. So that's the thing. A rising tide lifts all ships. So Serral getting good, encouraged and inspired and helped players like Raynor to get good, who helped other players like Clem to get good, and then Showtime upped his game because these other players are doing amazing things, and now here Marines joining the party. So it's just really nice to see. It's really nice to see different players from Europe. It all, this a chain reaction from Serral just kind of figuring it out, man. He didn't move to Korea. He didn't train with other Koreans for 18 hours a day. He just did it from home. It's one of the more inspiring stories in all of StarCraft that he managed to pull this off. It has really changed the scene as far as who's who in the StarCraft scene. It used to be entirely dominated by Koreans. Sure, there were foreigners who were fun to watch and fun to root for, but they weren't winning anything huge ever, really. Anyway, and now they are. So Zealot's coming down that right side while there's a big push from here bringing up the middle. He does have a maxed out army. Hundred. Well, there you go. 200 supply to the 180 of Trap. Are you coming back to deal with this? Maybe he caught a whiff of this. Mm, Widowmind Planetary, pretty good defense. Yeah, and then stimmed Marines and Marauders. Not bad here either. You're going to lose a couple Marines, maybe a Marauder, but overall pretty good trade. Disruptor shots. Storm feedback. Everything going down. Interference Matrix. Vikings trying to kill the Colossus, so the ground army is more effective. And yes, they do. Uh, one of the Col two of the Colossus actually go down. Wait, never mind. One was interfered with. It's back. There's still two. There, I thought there was just the one remaining, but there are those, those Colossus remaining. Trap says, I'm a, you're not, you don't get to run home after doing that to me. Why don't you get back here? We're going to chase you with Disruptor Novas and Purification Novas. And no, Trap getting a fifth base now. Hero Marine getting a fourth would be good for him. Is he doing it? But maybe not now while Trap is at his front doorstep. Yes, yes. So coming in, Zealots, Purification Novas, catching up. Coming around the backside. Dude, EMP on these High Templar. It would be massive, but the third base of Hero Marine dies. Storm up, EMP up simultaneously. Another storm comes in anyway. Hero Marine kind of needs to win this battle, but his ground army is kind of being decimated at the same time. The recall from Trap. He doesn't like what he sees. He gets out with the Colossus. These Immortals are really stuck, but they're not being pursued. Hero Marine's up 87 to 68 total supply. Can he actually... He needs to kill his base if he's going to win this game. He probably needs to kill two bases. 
if he's going to win this game. Killing these Immortals for free counts. That definitely counts as a victory. And then I love the low ground to high ground Marauder shots coming up and over. <laughs> this little cliff here. It's such a stupid animation. He's like, what? You just kind of like throw it up over the edge and it finds its target. Like the things, Marines and Marauders are firing things that are heat seeking or somehow can be locked onto a target and just get there, right? They're not aiming, that's for sure. Can't see anything there. I guess maybe Vikings are providing the vision. Anyway, they don't miss. Marines and Marauders do not miss. And humans are not perfect, so I think there's a, basically a target locking software in their guns. DTs, uh, what? Okay. I don't, did you kill, like, kill one thing? And then they all died. All right, that's a big victory from Hero Marine. But the larger problem for Hero Marine is he didn't kill Traps 4th. He didn't kill Traps 5th, which he doesn't know exists, by the way. This is extremely tough for Big Gabe. He needs, I mean, he's got, okay, he's got this one down here I keep ignoring as for the accounting purposes goes. And, you know, he did get his third base sack up pretty quickly. I think that's, uh, nope, that's an orbital he was intending for a fifth that he had to use to replace his third, so that sucks. But he's doing fine. I was worried about him more than I should have been. Income is kind of favoring Trap, but looking fairly close. Storm, so good against Vikings and always has been in the history of StarCraft II. Vikings taken down. Colossus does die. Purification Hope is getting some hits. Vikings not really having much use here anymore. And here Marine does end up taking down this fourth base of Trap. Okay, so that's big. That actually moves him more into winning territory than I was expecting. DT's wandering back in to the natural base of Hero Marine. There is detection here. Free Ghost. Oh no, what's he doing? What's he trying to snipe? He's trying to snipe something. Oh, add-ons, beautiful. High value targets, low HP targets. I think Trap has enough to defend here. Seems like he definitely does. The DTs get some add-ons, reactors, mostly reactors, and actually they're fighting against the reinforcements. DTs don't usually do that. But in this situation where, okay, they, there wasn't enough is the thing. For Hero Marine, army value is 77 to 66. This is crazy right now. I think Trap wants to take another base top left. Maybe that's his fourth back, six, so a sixth base for him here at 17 minutes. Continuing to push into the third base. Yeah, I had good success here earlier. SCVs are forced to fight, which is never good. Purification Novas are just absolutely sick and forcing the army back every single time. Oh my gosh, killing all those SCVs would be pretty good, but Trap seems definitely more interested in killing army with those Novas, which I can't understand. 144 to 151 supply. This is a scraptastic game. I don't know what this High Templar was trying to do. Maybe wander in and do a one-man storm on this SCV line without getting dropped in. So it's not even a storm drop. Possibly, dude, catching these disruptors out would be massive. He gets one. Okay, EMPs and snipes one off. That counts. That Marine all alone at the front. There's safety in numbers, Marine. You can't just be alone out there. Trap decides not to take the stop left. He doesn't feel comfortable with it. Not while Hero Marine's got his army out. So three ghosts at a time in production. God, nice pickup. But Medivac's getting focused down by these stalkers here too. Is that more DT stuff? Yeah, Trap is sending more DTs in to the natural base. No big deal. Here, Marine backed into a massive corner. EMP is getting tossed down, but Trap blinking on top of this army. But then the reinforcements from the backside come in. Disruptor's down. Disruptor down. Oh my gosh, these disruptors are dead. 23 SCVs die, though. But can Terran make the comeback? Because Terran is very good at coming back from situations where they lose a ton of workers. Do these DTs are still wreaking absolute havoc up here though hero marine is going he's like i can't i can't afford to deal with these blink dt's i'm trying to kill them they've got blink they're very very annoying they have plus three attack for heaven's sakes just over stim i don't think hero marine is going to be able to do this but he is gonna okay he does focus down traps fourth base for the second time today 
Which, and by that I mean he, do oh, he just barely gets it and then boosts on out of there. Unloading on the low ground, healing up. Big Gabe being big here, but his buildings are going down to DTs. He doesn't have enough to handle it. Know about this. He doesn't know about this big Gabe. Come on, Hero Marine, you can do this thing. And no, he can't drop! Is your winner in 20 minutes and 13 seconds. An absolutely insanely good PBT for your Patreon cast of the week there. That was great. Wow. Look. Uh, uh, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy stuff. What a great PVT. End of the day, worker count, death count is 36 probes to a full 43 SCVs. Two orbitals died, two nexuses. Both players giving as good as they get. 15 purification novas died. There's only two left. Trap won this game with an army of 10 stalkers and two disruptors. Okay, and 11 zealots and 10 DTs, which, by the way, were massively important to his win. I think larger the problem is that Hero Marine never knew this base existed. If he was able to wipe this base out and drop Trap down to one mining base... Actually, there's some minerals back here at the natural, huh? Instead of the two here, I think he would have been fine, but uh, no. He wasn't able to. I don't think he ever scanned this. Was it just the DTs? He scans. He loses his starport, which he doesn't lift, by the way. He definitely should have lifted the... He's not lifting buildings very well at all. All right, fair enough. Man, those DTs putting... I gotta see kill counts on those DTs. Please bear with me for a minute. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Ten kills on this Dark Templar. Six kills on that and 12 on that one. Great. Absolutely just killer DT play. Fear <laughs> Marine kept the king he had enough to handle it and he just didn't. He just didn't. Incredible, incredible, incredible stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I mean, that was a really good PVT. Better than I was expecting it, to be honest with you. So, 100,000 points there for Trap. Well done against Hero Marine. Hero Marine put up a good fight, but he needs some work to do. Before he can take down players like Trap. Especially in a 20 minute game. The longer the game is, the more the skill disparity shows up. Whew. 32,000 resources lost for Trap and 35,000 lost for Hero Marine. Alright, so again, well done to the German. But the Korean was victorious here today. And that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you. With yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Go ahead. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.